And well, now they're awkward. Because I'm definitely riveted. I, I would hope so. I enjoy he the fact you're now reading a book. A book. <laughs> <laughs> a book on comedy, mind you. Tom Raider. Who do I need? Um, probably you. You. You definitely. Not you. Um, you might help. But you and definitely. Reveal the hidden corpses to the mortal. See, now we have more jobs like revealing corpses and whatnot. So, to get the corpse out of the chimney, you put the one, the earth one here, and make it use earthquake or tremor. Which makes the bones fall down the chimney. But then they get stuck on like a different chimney, so the way to get rid of that. I think you might be able to tremor, tremor on another floor in order to remove them. But the way I always did it was if you make him use bitter cold in this room and then get people to go there by using rattle chains maybe? Okay. He's great, he's split in half. People will go into this room and because it's so cold they'll light the fire and the fire will, the smoke obviously will go up the chimney but it'll get stuck on the um, bones so okay. then the entire room fills with, fills with smoke. They'll call a repairman who will knock the bones down. And then they'll call the police because there's bones in their fireplace. That seems like a really tenuous pattern. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> like, <laughs> at, at what point did someone think, I've got a great idea? <laughs> See, the, he's already calling the police because it's filling with smoke. Because apparently, he literally just lit it. But then there's another one that's down... It doesn't need to be bitter cold enough. Down here, there's another guy. Um, who's behind like a brick wall because you got bricked in so more tremors this is like the most horrible one because you have a time limit for um, like because when the there are three ghosts and the mission is over when the authorities find two corpses and you need the humans to see the corpses to get the ghosts so right it's horrifically awkward to try and get them to find all the corpses without the police coming and discovering two first okay I'm hoping you said corpses a lot in that, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm still not sure what you're about. <laughs> there are cor these ghosts are all bound to their corpses, so there's right. a corpse there, or okay. you can't see it because of glare. Um, I like Dyson. There's a corpse in the chimney, the and there's a corpse arrived. there. Seems like the worst place to hide a body is the chimney. The yeah, you'd think so, but it, to be honest, it got stuck all the way up here. So I guess whenever they lit the fire, it just went into this room, and I guess no one uses it. No, someone must use it, it looks used. Video game logic. The handyman is here. See? His name is Bill Ratzenberger. What an amazing they, name. They also get um, bios. So he's a friendly handyman. He gets the job done. And Caroline's an irritating little girl who could almost be cute if she could just shut up. She's afraid of guns and fireworks. I definitely read that as slut. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's, that's not good. She'd be cute if she could just slut up, you know? <laughs> love me nothing more than a slutty ten-year-old. <laughs> Will someone please come upstairs? Oh, dear God! Oh, I can actually do that. <gasps> dear God! See, there's one ghost, Scott, because we got the one out of the chimney. Oh, they have little like monologues and stuff, but I keep skipping them because the, the corpse ghosts the fucking terrify me. Now it must be shown to the police. So now they pull the. Who police. talks like that? Um, I am the repairman! The most awesome guy ever. Stop using bitter cold, you stupid bitch. But he just likes a bit of cold. <laughs> ah, ah, it's ah, funny because ah. it's so fucking hot outside. <laughs> use intrigue. And you need to use something, but I can't. Oh! Oh! Yes! Perfect! He's broken the door down, which a woman can't do because this was made in the 90s and women can't do much in the 90s. It said 2003 and 4 on the dates. It was made in 2000, in the early thousands and... Yeah, sexism. <laughs> so now we need to get a woman to go in there and try the makeup on. Because men can't try makeup on? That, not in the early 2000s. I don't know, I mean like... <laughs> by that point... <laughs> ignore, you know, like, Boy George being significantly the before the, the 2000s and... Shh. Well, sh also ignore Kiss. Stupid child, you are not a woman. Get back downstairs. This game is the best. Why has no one found the, um... Someone needs to find him.
Someone also needs to get a little bit scared so that I can actually have enough power to do something. Well, I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm glad you are. Scare the policeman! Scare the policeman! The camera controls in this are terrifying. The scariest part of the game. The police have found a corpse. Great. Oh, <gasps> Shrek up in the top corner. Shrek? Oh, him! He's amazing! And also Shrek. He looks a lot like Shrek. <laughs> He splits in half and it is terrifying. He was like the cause of my fear of this game when I was younger. So he looks like Shrek. The guy below him looks like Stinky from Casper. Yes. I'm not sure what he looks like. Um. What she looks like for that matter. That's definitely a spider. It's a spider. He's just. I hate the corpse ghosts. I mean, I thought he was the repairman on that side. Not gonna lie. Um, he does look a lot like what a repairman would look like. I think he he was like a satellite guy. What are you suggesting? That all repairmen look the same? The I'm saying that all I'm saying that all repairmen look like corpses. Is oh. that is that off target? I, off base? I, I think think it might be. Yeah. Am I a little bit wrong there? M maybe just a little. I want to just hold your views there, Sam. Comment and let me know what repairmen look like. And don't just spam pictures of Mario. Oh my god. Is this the fucking? Okay, why? Did if you're in the basement, can't you just bury them? Who? The people. Yeah. Um. Uh. They're burying well, the causes. Firstly, no. But secondly, um. <laughs> I. Well, firstly, no. And secondly, no. <laughs> if you scare anyone away, you fail. In this one. Oh, this you're is a new mission. Yeah. I hadn't even noticed. <laughs> what? How did you not know? Look at the house. <laughs> The house is that they decided to show me that policeman's face. I mean, literally, like, I just could not have showed you. Can I ask why that is not falling down? Oh, because that guy needs to go there. Oh. How okay. long has it been a new mission? Um, about a while. Oh, is that a metric Maybe? while? Or? Uh, it's a pretty long while. Okay. It's a good game. Could have fooled me. Hush, hush. You're bad to stop playing the fucking piano and go into the basement. What's TME stand for? TME. On the profiles, it was like TME, and you had bars. Oh, uh, terror, mood, and belief. Oh, it's a B. I. Yes, sorry. I, I don't know why I'm apologising. That's the game's fault. Oh, it's no, sorry. Terror, madness, and belief. So you can drive people insane or scare them away, um, or and the higher their belief is, the more scared they'll get. Because they believe it's ghosts more. So is madness like amnesia madness, where your contacts pop out? Yes. <laughs> Very much. Are you gonna... Can that guy grab him? Arclight, you're supposed to be, like, doing things. The policeman is just, like, stuck there. Look, you can very clearly see the fucking skeleton. Oh, there we go. This terrified. I got both of them! I did it! Unfortunately, we can't see the creepy cutscene of the guy being pulled through the wall. Oh, I just finished. Um, that guy becomes, like, visible and then grabs him and yeah, yanks him yeah, into the wall to show him the corpse. And it's fucking... It's not terrifying because it's, like, two th early 2000s slash 90s graphics. But that destroyed me as a child. I was like, oh my god, I must never go near any brick walls ever. Because there's going to be a ghost in there. I can see why you've made the connection. Yeah. That you're an idiot. And I, no. Yes. No, no this game's good. This game's I'm good. not saying it's not, I'm just saying you're an idiot. Who, who is this camera following exactly? It's not, it's just a camera with a mind of his own. Just, oh, it's just... <laughs> don't, don't think about just it. Just decided to accept it. fly around. I, I will, this game clearly knows what it's talking about. He's going to tell him about the corpse. He's going to go down there. I've got all three ghosts. That, like, never happens. So what are the other empty three spots, then? The other... Three empty spots. Um, they're for ghosts for, like, later missions. So, like, later missions you'll be able to take, like, eight with you. But I don't think we even have eight ghosts yet. <laughs> People like this exist and breed. Uh, President Bush once um, was told he was going to be introduced to Brazilian people. He said, how many is a Brazilian? <laughs> <laughs> I want you to think on that for a minute. <laughs> I 
know why I really, really want that to be a unit of measurement now. A Brazilian. Uh, you could do that by finding out what, how, like the population of Brazil. What? How? <laughs> Where? Brazilian wax would then be they take a specific number of hairs. <laughs> <laughs> related to the amount of people currently living in Brazil. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. How would you count oh. the stragglers? Would it be like the amount of midgets they're in Brazil? <laughs> I don't think they like being called midgets. Alright. Tiny Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> believe they prefer the term dwarf. I don't think I'd rather meet you. I'd rather dwarf. Dwarf has like hairy Welsh connotations. <laughs> <laughs> and my axe. <laughs> See, I could I could deal with being a dwarf. Probably not. They go through a lot of like issues with lifespan and you know getting things off the counter. <laughs> <laughs> but that aside. Sorry, I was so <laughs> next to one. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I love it. But aside from that, your haunting goals are I think I, I I would enjoy it. I wouldn't. I don't know. Have you seen the little dwarf city they've got in um, China? No. They've got a little dwarf village, and they want to run around and put on a show for the, the tall people. That's the ma I like the like normal sized people. That seems really like inappropriate. The tall, yet yeah, the tall people is fine. Well, they're taller than the little. They're people. not tall. They live in China. That's racist. <laughs> Oh dear.